women's marathon and half marathon is the largest women's race in the world, with 30,000 runners taking to the hills of San Francisco. But training for the race is a much lonelier road. Samantha Hirsch and Crystal Lohman ran hundreds of miles, often solo, with only their Nike fuel bands keeping them company. It really pushes you and like lets you know and you're not just like out on an aimless run hoping you get a certain amount of miles. The fuel band tracks steps, calories, and overall activity. A new version, the fuel band SE, launches in early November and promises to recognize more activities, whether it's yoga or tennis, with greater accuracy. For added motivation, runners pair their fuel bands with mobile apps, like Nike Training Club. That's been wonderful and pushing me along, so I make sure that I post all of my runs to Facebook so I can get cheers along the way. Those cheers are sent by friends via social networks and heard by runners via the app on their phone. Running apps are helpful for runners and trainers alike. I'm also able to you know, tap into their Nike Plus account and just see and maybe check up on them and make sure that they're actually doing the run. Fitness trackers like the Fuel Band cover the basics. The very beginner, the person who's still sitting on the couch should get a Fuel Band because that's going to let them know, all right, I have a goal, I need to burn X number of calories. More serious runners may want to consider a GPS watch, which connects to satellites to log your runs more precisely. TomTom Tom offers two models, one for runners that tracks outdoor and treadmill runs, and a multi-sport version that's designed to track swimming and cycling as well. Adidas will start selling its My Coach Smart Run watch on November 1st. It features an optical wrist sensor that can measure your heart rate. If you're in the Nike ecosystem, you'll likely want to stick with its GPS watch. Definitely like the split times that the GPS watch has. I love knowing my pace. I'm a huge OCD when it comes to pace. I like to stay right on pace. Um, and then distance, of course. The technology is providing runners with more stats than they've ever had and enabling beginners to tackle even marathon distances. But there is a downside. You can get overwhelmed with numbers and spend more time doing that than actually doing the exercise. Instead of being fixated on your wrist, try enjoying those miles. In San Francisco, I'm Sumi Das, CNET for CBS News.